If there is one PCI slot that every PC player asks about, it is the X16 slot. This basically is the largest and the fastest slot on a motherboard. On this motherboard, this here is the PCI 16 slot. But in terms of physical size, so is this. But let me tell you, not all PCI 16 slots are the same. This is an X16 slot, while this is not. So the X16 slot is the most powerful PCI slot on a given motherboard. It offers the highest bandwidth and is thus intended to be used by powerful devices, primarily being the graphics card. PCI is basically one of the primary interfaces through which you add further functionality to your PC, such as Wi-Fi cards, video capture cards, port expansion cards and of course a dedicated graphics card. PCI S16 slot is one of four main types of PCI slots, the other ones being X1, X4 and X8. The number after the X usually denotes the number of PCI lanes a slot offers. Think of PCI lanes as information highways that carry data from the connected components like a graphics card to the CPU and back for processing data. The higher the number of PCI lanes a slot offers, the higher is its bandwidth or speed in layman terms. By the way, if you're learning something of value, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Now how do you identify an X16 slot? Here on this motherboard you can see an array of PCI slots. This motherboard has three X1 slots. These are the smallest slots intended for load demanding devices like a Wi-Fi or an Ethernet card. It has one X16 slot and one X4 slot. Now this is where many get confused. While both of the larger slots here have the same physical length, they do not have the same number of PCI lanes and this is very very important to note. The first PCI X16 slot on any given motherboard is always the true X16 slot meaning it has full 16 lanes. The second X16 slot on a motherboard may have 16, 8 or 4 lanes. You figure out the exact number of PCI lanes a slot has by looking at its spec sheet. Here for this motherboard you can clearly see that the second PCI X16 slot offers 4 lanes. The point right home here is that not all X16 slots are the same. So what is an X16 slot used for? An X16 slot is used for the most powerful or the most demanding expansion cards. The primary and the most common device that you install on an X16 slot is a graphics card. Almost all graphics cards have an X16 connector indicating that they require full 16 lanes of bandwidth in order to perform at optimal speeds. Now many gamers confuse the X16 slots believing that they can install the graphics card on either of the two slots. On this motherboard, if you were to install a graphics card on the second X16 slot, it will either not work or work at far reduced performance depending upon the graphics card model you have. Another device the X16 slot is used for is an M.2 NVMe expansion card. Each NVMe SSD requires 4 PCI lanes to work at optimal speeds. An X16 M.2 NVMe expansion card like the ASUS Hyper M.2 can add 4 extra M.2 NVMe slots for your PC. Other than that, you can install any other smaller device you want on this slot. Just know that adding an X1 or X4 device on an X16 slot will not give the device any kind of performance boost. The final point I'd like to touch a bit on is the PCI lane speed. The PCI interface evolves and with each newer version, the bandwidth of each lane doubles. An X16 slot conforming to version 3.0 has speeds of about 16 GB per second. The same slot if conforming to version 4.0 has speed of about 32 GB per second. This is important to note for newer graphics card and SSD since they can take a significant performance hit if installed on an older slot. So that is the basics of the X16 slot. If you have any more questions or concerns, please ask away in the comment section below. Again, would appreciate a like and a subscribe.